Hi, uh, this is Joe here from Tricks Info. Today we'll learn about brake fluids and vapor lock. So yeah, as you know in hydraulic brakes we have brake fluid and we have a problem of vapor lock happening. So this video will explain you about how it happens and what are the different type of brake fluids used. So initially let's discuss about brake fluids and how they actually function. So if you're having a car or if you have seen a construction machine, these type of vehicles have hydraulic brake system which employs brake fluids into it. So there are like mainly three type of brake fluids which are used in the uh, brake system. Uh, one is mineral brake fluid, the other is glycol brake fluid and the third one is silicon brake fluid. So the most commonly used that is 90, 90 to 95 percent is the glycol brake fluid is being used so i'll take you back to your school physics where you have learned about two types of fluids one is the compressible fluid and the other is the incompressible fluid so the compressible fluid is gas the gaseous one they can be compressed and the incompressible fluids are in liquid state so the incompressible fluids are used in the hydraulic braking system they are incompressible so that's 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 giving the efficiency for the brake system and when they become compressible that means when there's a gas coming into the incompressible fluid system because of vapor that results in the vapor lock and let's see how the vapor comes into uh, the uh, the incompressible fluid system of a hydraulic brake that's very critical to analyze and how we can see to avoid vapor lock so now let's go forward and discuss that so as you all know the hydraulic brakes the brakes are involved with friction and when friction is there it normally generates heat and when the brake fluid when it gets heated up to a particular level there's a limit above that limit there can be a chance of formation of vapor this occurs because some of these fluids are hydroscopic that means they have a tendency to absorb moisture so when they are kept kept outside they tend to absorb moisture for example uh, the glycol brake fluid in two years time it can absorb up to 13 percentage of moisture to its weight so when this fluid is inside uh, the master cylinder when the brake is applied and when it's heated up to more than 100 degrees celsius the uh, water or the moisture gets vaporized and that is gas and that is compressible so liquid is incompressible and gas is compressible so when the presence of water occurs when you press the pedal for getting a brake effect it compresses in and you lose the brake efficiency that is a that's that's actually called as vapor lock so if you have a vapor lock abruptly you will lose the brake so what happens you need to pump once or twice or thrice to get the brake efficiency properly so that's called as vapor lock the chances of losing the brake efficiency happens when you travel uphill normally in mountain climbing or in the drive uh, with the four wheel drive vehicles what happens in the uh, when you move up the atmospheric pressure tends to drop when the atmospheric pressure drops the boiling point of the fluid reduces so that results in even the brake fluid to vaporize which results in the formation of vapors and that is gas which reduces your brake efficiency so these bubbles which are created inside the brake fluid reduces your braking efficiency and that causes a vapor lock so when vapor lock occurs the only way to get rid of it is by uh, pressing the pedal twice or thrice you will get the brake but it's not abrupt so that's a brake failure so to clear this issue what you have to do you have to stop the vehicle and blade out the air i have already uploaded a video on how uh, the hydraulic brake fluid bleeding can be done when there is a vapor lock and also how a hydraulic brake works the links are also given in the description you can go towards that and learn more about how a hydraulic brake works and also how the brake bleeding can be done so please subscribe uh, to a youtube channel which is tech info for more technical mechanical engineering and automobile engineering related videos and keep connected with us and if you have any doubt you can drop in the comment or you can contact us directly uh, to ask any doubts and we'll be happy to respond to you